Hello fellow webmasters, Matt and Dan Anton from BacklinksVault.com here with another awesome case study. Uh, this time it's on recovering from the Google Panda and Penguin updates using redirects, using permanent 301 redirects. Okay, so what is the case study that we have for this? If you're looking at YouTube, please go to the link in the description to the blog post so you can see uh, exactly what was done and, uh, and the results. Uh, but I'll explain them to you over the video, of course, as well. Okay, so what I've stumbled onto is uh, there's a website, MMOHut.com, as you can see in the description, uh, which is the number one uh, review site of free-to-play MMO, MMORPG video games. And uh, I'm a recovering MMO uh, addict myself. I used to play Ultima Online, EverQuest, Dark Ages of Camelot, World of Warcraft, all those games, right? So they're persistent uh, online games, but that's besides the point. The point is, is that MMO Hut is the number one, maybe number two, I'm not sure, uh, major authority of this. They have 170,000 YouTube subscribers, so they're a major, major player. They're a huge brand in this space. They have the best posts, the best reviews, the best images, and the best videos. So their content is top notch, right? But if you look at the, the description and then you look at the video, uh, the image, you can see that somewhere in April 2011, when the panda started sneaking its head around, that MMO Hut got devoured by this panda bear, unfortunately. Uh, now, as a side note, you know, if it can happen to a site with such great quality content as MMO Hut, it can happen to anyone. So, what did they do about it? Uh, as you can see from that image, uh, from 2011 of April and onward to today, MMO HUD's traffic has been pretty much non-existent. At least search engine traffic. Of course, they get traffic from other sources. Uh, probably most importantly, YouTube. Uh, but you see their search engine traffic got crippled by Google. Uh, so what did they do? So instead of crying about it, uh, they did something very smart that I've noticed. Uh, they registered MMOHUTS.com. That's right, the uh, MMO Hut is their brand name, but they registered MMO Huts with an S.com. And they redirected page for page uh, the entire website except the home page. Now, this might be important for this case study because if you own a forum that's been hit, what this is suggesting is that if you leave the home page and then you redirect every other page, you can still recover from this. Just look at the images uh, in the post. You can see that MMOHuts.com, which is not even really their brand, uh, but is now their, their go-to for the search engine traffic domain, is getting approximately 234,000 uh, search engine, organic search engine traffic a month. Now, I don't know about you, but that's a lot of search engine traffic, guys. That's the difference between, you know, MMOHut and MMOHuts is the difference between $0 and $50,000 a month. Maybe even more. That's a lot, a lot of traffic. That's a lot of money that they were otherwise losing. Uh, so they did this very clever redirect. They did not redirect the main page. Again, I'm not sure if this matters uh, for this to work. But here's a takeaway you can take from this. If you have a small web website, web page, and you know a five-page site or twenty-page site, and you were getting you know a couple hundred hits a day, maybe even over a thousand or a couple thousand a day, and it got penalized. You can try to use this strategy uh, and redirect everything to a new domain. But if you own, like I said, a form or a site that has thousands and thousands of pages and it got hit, you can do what MMO Hut did. You can keep the domain non-redirected as MMOHut.com, which still exists, but every single other page will redirect to the new copy with the S added. Of course, you don't have to register a domain with the S added. It can be something unique, uh, but that's just a strategy that is proven to be to work and I found it funny that such a large brand like MMO Hut uh, has used this strategy you know a lot of people will go you know is this black hat is this ethical uh, that's a great question I don't know but all I do know is that is it really ethical for Google to basically cripple uh, a business or a website uh, and say you can no longer you know exist uh, so they kind of resorted to this tactic uh, because they do have the best content you know I will speak to that I actually I love the reviews and uh, the guy who runs it Omer uh, he makes the greatest reviews but that's a side point again I just want you to see that a branded site with more subscribers than you could ever hope for 170,000 YouTube subscribers 
you know, page rank six, thousands and thousands and thousands of backlinks, and they get hammered by the Panda update. But instead of filing a request, you know, because that can get messy and then it might just put you more on the radar, uh, they went with the redirect option and it's proved that it's working great for them. Uh, so, you know, if you are penalized, it's probably too late with the link building, which is why we recommend a varied approach to begin with, with the social signals, you know, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, you know, quality backlinks, varying your anchor text. Uh, but if you do get penalized and you do some quality link building and it doesn't pull you out of it, the best thing you can do is head over to GoDaddy or your, or your favorite name, uh, domain registrar, register a domain, do some permanent redirects, leave the home page if you have a large website, or redirect it all, and uh, let's see if that helps. Again, what do you have to lose? There's only upside as your, pa your website is pretty much doomed anyway outside of pay-per-click and you know, some other methods. Uh, now, why does this work? You may say, you know, Google's not dumb, of course. They know what's going on. Uh, but the problem is, is that how do you really solve this if you're Google? Uh, what I could do is just get a site that's spammed to death and has a, has a message in it and redirect it to a competitor's website. And now all of a sudden, now the penalty is going to pass to the competitor. And of course, they know this and they're not going to allow it. So only the good can be redirected. Now, granted, it's not a one-to-one. -one. You may lose something in translation. Uh, but if you have a site that's penalized and has a lot of backlinks, don't just let it, uh, you know, drift off into the ether, redirect it to a new property and uh, start building the right way on the new website and uh, you should be good to go. Again, fellow webmasters, uh, I want to thank you very much uh, for this very interesting case study, uh, for looking at it, uh, you know, 301 redirects, who would have thought? Again, don't go crazy with the redirects uh, and if you do do it, uh, try to do just the inner pages and not the home page. But if you have a small website, redirect it all wholesale and uh, see how it works for you. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.